We're just gonna uh, look at creating something like this today, just so I can show you the basics, okay? So just a quick sketch with some key features, nice bit of um, lettering, and hopefully you'll get to grips with the basics of Sketches School, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom out here. I'm gonna search for Sketches School, you can see here. If you tap on it, this will open up, and this app is completely free. You can get it in the App Store, um, and it's such a powerful um, app for a free app. It's designed specifically for use in schools, so you'll notice that the interface is really simple. <clears throat> and I just wanna show you what it looks like when you first go into it. So basically you'll have this page here, this is really useful. You can click into it and it actually walks you through each of the tools that are available in Sketches School and gives you an idea of the type of drawings or the style that you can create with them. So when you first kind of go into the app, I would definitely advise just go in and have a look because you'll see a style and you'll go, oh yeah, that's more me um, than, than some of the other kind of tools. So I know I'm, I like the more bold um, shapes and colors, okay? And you can see it goes through all of the different tools. It's really, really handy. Okay, so if I just go back here, then you've got the option on the right, it will just say what's available in Sketches Pro. So if you did want to pay to upgrade, you can. Now, these are my sketchbooks, okay? Now when you log in for the first time, you'll only have one sketchbook. So you can see I've got quite a few different ones on the go. So I just wanna show you this one here first of all. There's a cog in the bottom right, you can tap that and you can change the color. So you've got the front color there. Okay, um, and I might change it to, I don't know, let's choose a nice kind of coastal blue. And you can also change the front cover, but I quite like the one that it is at the minute. Once you're done, just hit the tick at the bottom of the page and you can see now it's altered the, um, the appearance for you. So if you kind of like aesthetics, that's a good one for you as well, okay? You can also change the title. So I could just put here, for example, uh, virtual, conference and this is a good way to just keep all your sketches kind of organized and then when you're happy hit the tick okay so just to go into it if you tap you'll see all the different pages then in your sketchbook so you can see i've got quite a few in this sketchbook now this is um this i want to show you these sketches here so you'll see like the um Sorry, I just accidentally tapped that. Um, you'll see the smiley face and the circles. These are actually activities from the Everyone Can Create series. So if you, um, and that's from Apple. So if you just go online, type in Everyone Can Create, um, Sketches School, these tutorials are there for you and they walk you through it. And that's how I've learned how to do it, okay? So definitely go and have a look at that. Then you'll see some other sketches. So I've been doing some kind of quotes, okay? That I, when I was working with some other teachers and you can see I've used a variety of brushes. And then if I show you here, there's also, I did a lovely session in a school where we did some uh, book reviews. Uh, so we looked at the kind of main parts of the story. Let me just swipe left to get that off the page. So we looked at the main parts in the story. They created a key doodle for each part in the story. Uh, and then it kind of walked you through. And then they displayed these in their book area so that the uh, students could decide whether they wanted to read the books or not. So that was a really nice thing to do. So I'm just gonna show you the basics today and I wanna show you what we're gonna be looking to create. So we're gonna be creating something really simple but just shows you the basic tools, okay? So just sketch note, some key features and I've used some different tools then to shade and so on, okay? So if we just head back into the sketch note and if we tap the add new, you'll get a blank canvas. And the first thing I always tend to do is just add a title. So I'm gonna choose the fine liner tool. Now these are all your tools down the side. And this is why I would advise, um, I showed you just at the beginning of this demo, have a look at um, their example tools. So you'll find ones that you use more often. I tend to use the fine liner and the watercolor pen. They're kind of the ones I go to most often. But I would absolutely say, go through each pen for the first time, choose a darker color so you can see it, and just kind of have a scribble and get used to, just oh, turn this one off by the way, if you like to rest your palm on the screen, turn it off, okay? And see how different each tool is, because they are really, really different, and that allows you to create kind of the different effects, okay? So I'm just gonna tap the top left to undo all of those, but definitely take the time to go through and do it. I'm gonna choose the fine liner, and I'll select a black one, okay? 
and I'm going to start. I want to do some bubble writing, just the word sketch note. Now, if you're not sure and you're thinking, oh God, like I find bubble writing really, really tricky. Here's a little tip. I actually started by using a pencil. Okay. I would write, for example, a sketch note. Now that is very faint, but that is on purpose. Okay. Sketch and then note. And then what you can do is using um, the fine liner and select it in black, okay? Two finger pinch, you can zoom in. And I used to use that then as a little guide to go right through the center of my letter. Now I could not draw a, an S that accurate usually, okay? So it, you have to understand it's those little lines that are helping you just block it off, okay? And you'll develop your own style. I like straight edges for my, um, there we are, for my bubble writing. Some people like rounded edges. Again, with sketch noting, no right or wrong way. It's all about developing your own style. So let me just go over these nice and roughly. And I'm just using um, two fingers to pinch and zoom and manipulate uh, the text in the way that I want to, okay? So I've got sketch, note. Here we go. And you'll see here, there we are. Okay, so it's starting to take shape. So that's my first little tip is definitely pale sketch and then you'll uh, be able to do your bubble writing a lot easier. Now we're going to go on to my next favorite tool, which is the watercolor brush. Okay, now you can use any of these tools, but I'm just going to show you these in this demo because we've only got a short amount of time. So I'm going to zoom in, okay, and I'm going to tap the bottom right to select a colour. Now I tend to work in kind of rainbow colours, so I'm going to start with my red and then go through orange, yellow and so on, okay. So I'll select red. Now you might want to see the size of the brush. So the three dots on your right will show you the different sizes of the brush. So let me just check. Yep, that's about right actually. And I quite like it when it comes off the edges, okay? So that was the medium sized brush. Let me undo and show you the thin brush. So if I use the thin brush, that's fine too, but just bear in mind, I haven't taken my pencil off because if I take my pencil off and then draw on top, it will go darker, okay? So let me just undo that again. And I'm actually gonna just shade on the one side and taking my pencil off till I get that darker shade. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So then my next one would be orange, okay? And again, not taking my pencil off to fill it, but when I wanna do the shading, just take your pencil off and then you can kind of shade in. So let me just do a few more letters for you to see. So I've got my rainbow colors coming now. And again, shading around the edge. Now with the yellow, obviously it's a little bit harder to see. You can go in, select a slightly different shade if you wanted, and then just trace around the edge with that, okay? So you've got some different options there. So a red, orange, yellow. Let's go for a nice green here. And you'll see, I'm not being too neat about it. Um, the thing with sketch noting is it's not meant to be perfection. Um, I'm a visual learner and I actually used to make all of my um, A-level revision notes using little doodles and things way before they were called sketch notes. Um, so definitely this can help learners kind of in your class, um, but it's also a really attractive way of uh, presenting information. So let me just fill these in very quickly. So I've got my shading around the edge, go for a nice purple. And you'll see that very quickly, the lettering will start to kind of come together. And I do always start with the title. I just find that it helps me with kind of the placement. So you can see when we zoom out, it's actually looking really attractive uh, in, in not very much time. So let me just go back to the red to start, fill this one and then just shade the orange here. And then the yellow to finish. Okay, brilliant. So, we just go around the edge again. Okay, bro. Now if I zoom out, you can see it's on my page. If you push the tray to the left, you can actually view your whole page. 
okay now if you just pull on to the right drag on to the right it'll show you the tray again I'm going to use the cut tool at this point it looks like a little craft knife just drag around what you want to reposition or move okay and you can just reposition it now did you see that save just popped up that's brilliant what it means is it auto saves as you go along and when it when it um it says save it saves an image to your photo uh library so it's actually quite nice because you can see how your sketch note is kind of progressing so i'm just going to position that there so once you've got the lettering okay um then you can add some key features now it's worth mentioning when you're creating a sketch note you actually want to focus on the content so usually i find an article that i like for example 10 tips for teachers to relax in the holidays or um it'll be like five uh, tips for mental well-being during lockdown so I find the article first and then the sketch note comes from that. But just for this demo, I'm just showing you some of the features in Sketches School, okay? So after I put all the information into my sketch note, I then look at adding some key features and you'll come up with some signature features. So I'm gonna select the fine liner and I'm gonna select a black. And mine are always smiley stars, okay? That's the primary teacher um, coming out there. So I just draw smiley stars here and I might just position a smaller, slightly smaller one there. And then I'll go over, oops, sorry, here. And I want to put another couple here. And here. Okay. Once you're happy, we're going to use the fill tool. All right. I'm going to select a yellow. I am a bit obsessed about my yellow stars actually maybe it was the gold stars growing up but uh, what you can do then is zoom in and if you double tap on your closed shape so using the fill tool okay and then you can double tap it will fill the stars for you but just make sure that those shapes are completely closed otherwise it will flood the whole page with color okay so you can see my stars uh, are now in order now the next thing I like to use in my sketch notes I call them uh, like starbursts. I'm not really sure if that is what they're called, but they're starbursts to me. So I go back to my fine liner and I choose a color that is kind of near where I want to put my starburst. So I'm going to put them near the S. So I'm going to choose a red. And if I zoom in here, they're super simple. Okay, that's a little bit skinny. So I'm going to undo top left, undo that. I'm going to go for the next size up. So the three dots on the right, I'm going to go for the next size up. That's better. So I'm just going to choose some little circles like this okay now, it doesn't make much sense at the minute and then i'm going to choose a black pen now you'll notice black kind of runs throughout my sketch notes i just love it it's really crisp and it helps things stand out okay then what you do is you just add oh that's a bit thick so just undo top left and choose the thinner nib on the right and i just add some little starbursts here so you can see that it's just kind of bringing a bit of movement and life uh, to the sketch note. So let me zoom out now. There we are. Okay. So then what I tend to do is uh, if I zoom back in, once I've got my starbursts, my stars, I add just some dots of color. So the felt tip pen would be a good one for this. Okay. I'm going to choose the medium nib and I'm going to choose the orange because obviously the letters S and K kind of red and orange. So it just keeps it on, on kind of that theme. And then I'm just going to add, and you'll notice it's a bit random. Okay, I just do where I think looks good. And then I zoom out. Okay, so let me just repeat that process kind of at the end here. So I've got some, and it's kind of the yellow and the um, orange. So I'm going to do my uh, starbursts first. So let me just do the circles that I need. And again, you'll notice they're not all exactly the same size. They do vary, but I think that's what makes sketch notes kind of so fun that no two people can produce exactly the same sketch note. Then I'm going to zoom in and just pop on my starbursts. There we are. And again, not perfect, but they do follow kind of a theme. And then I will choose a yellow and a felt tip pen and I'm just going to put my dots in just to give it that extra pizzazz bring it to life a little bit okay so once I zoom out now you can see it's taking shape pretty quickly okay 
Then I might decide that I want to add a shape, but I think, oh, I'm not very good at drawing shapes. Well, you've got a tool here, which is really, really handy, okay? So you can actually just drag shapes straight in if you want to. So you might decide, oh, I'm not very good at drawing stars. Well, you can just click and hold and you can drag a star in. It's not a problem, okay? If you don't want it there, okay, you can just undo, not a problem. Let me just tick that first, tick at the bottom, and then you can undo it and get rid of it, okay? So there are some options there with some text and some shapes, okay? Um, alternatively, if you think, um, oh, I really wanna draw this, but I, I just don't know how, you can save an image to your photo library and then trace it, okay? So what I'm going to do for this is, let me just use the cutter tool, I'm just gonna select that, okay? And I'm just gonna shrink it down a tad, and then I'm going to click the three dots at the top of the screen and you'll see you've got some images. There's in the middle, it's a symmetry, a line of symmetry. We actually want to bring something in, okay? So you've got camera, photo, files, or paste. So I'm just going to go for photo and then recents. And I'm just gonna select this here, okay? And I'll just say, well, yeah, I just wanna kind of, I wanna make it a little bit uh, transparent, okay? Once you're happy with the kind of the positioning, there we are, hit the tick. Now, I could leave it like that and think, yeah, that looks great, but I kind of like the hand-drawn element if I'm totally honest, okay? So I would probably choose my felt tip pen and I would choose kind of, yeah, a nice bright color, the yellow will do. And I could just trace this, okay, roughly again, because I don't want to lose that kind of hand-drawn element. There we are, okay? And then what you can do is in the top right, there's an eye. If you tap that, it will hide it for you, okay? It's a really nice tool. If you do need to kind of, um, if you do need to trace something because you just think, oh, I can't do that, it's a really nice tool to have. And then of course, you can use the tools that we just looked at. So this is the kind of watercolor and you can trace and kind of make it how you want to make it. Okay, so just wanted to show you the trace tool there. Um, so there we are, there's the basics of sketch noting. Now I do have some top tips for you, so I'm actually going to zoom out here and I'm gonna show you them. So my top tips for getting started uh, with sketch noting, <laughs> number one, just have a go. Honestly, there's no right or uh, wrong way to do it. Just have a go, be patient, it's taken me two years probably to get to where I want to be with sketchnoting. I've watched an awful lot of YouTube tutorials, um, but they're really, really helpful. And I've used apps such as Sketches School and then I kind of graduated to Procreate, which I'll just tell you about in a moment. Trace tricky objects, okay? There's bicycles and road signs and things in some of my sketch notes. I can't draw those from memory, so I just trace them, okay? I always outline images and doodles in black. Keep it black, it's sharp, it prints well if you want to print it, and use a fine liner so it's really crisp. This is a biggie for me. Focus on the content and not the drawing. So I never I never just go, oh, I'm gonna do some doodles and create a sketch note. I always start with an article that I've read or a website that I find really useful, and you can reference them, just put a little reference to the bottom on your sketch note. But it might be, for example, you know, five tips for mental well-being um, during lockdown or something similar, okay? T uh, 10 top tips for teachers to relax in the holidays. So start with the content, get the information in, and then focus on, oh, I could emphasize this word or I could switch this up and so on. Uh, use colour. I use colour. However, some of the most famous sketch noters um, actually only use one or two key colours and black. So just have have fun with it and kind of develop your own style. Okay. Now I just wanted to double click out because I want to show you two things here. Okay. If you um, love what we've seen today with Sketches School, which is the free app then I would say head on over to aspired.online, okay? Because, funnily enough, I've made a course called um, uh, Getting Started. That's the Seesaw course, which is not the one. So if I click Courses here, okay, English, and View Courses, okay? We've got down here, Getting Started with Sketch Noting. Okay, if you click here, You'll see I've done this course, I've given you a nice overview, so what is it and, and the kind of theory behind it, which is quite nice. Um, and then video tutorials that take you all the way through creating your own sketch notes. So if you are interested, head on over to aspired.online and there's a course on there for you. 
finally, I just want to mention Procreate. So Procreate is a different app, okay? But that's the app that I use to create my um, sketch notes kind of for the company. And if you get on with Sketches School and you think, actually, I want to I want to up level what I'm doing with sketch notes, then the main difference with Procreate is that it works in layers, okay? So if you've ever worked with Photoshop, um, you, you'll be kind of more accustomed to this. I had never worked with Photoshop, so it was quite a learning curve, but it's doable, okay? I did it. The cool thing with this is, of course, that you can toggle layers on and off without deleting things. So you can move things around, you can change things, and it's just a lot easier to manipulate. So if you are interested, head over to Procreate. But for now, uh, I just wanna kind of say, Thanks for listening in. I really hope that maybe you, you've got a bit of a passion for sketch noting and, and you're interested in having a go. Um, so good luck and um, hopefully you'll be sketch noting in the near future.